champagne secrets confidence it's definitely afternoon thank you for having a bite of lunch with me the empress over here in the secret chalet we're not going to be before you long but uh, i was browsing in the instagram streets this morning and i happened to see this interview between Jayla and No Jumper and the altercation that happened between her and Sharp. And I have to say that it, I don't know if I can say the word pissed on YouTube. However, it ticked me off. You could tell, first of all, by this ninja's disposition. And we're not going to go through the introduction on today because this is going to be a short one. But you can tell by this ninja's disposition that this interview was going to go all wrong. He didn't even want to sit next to her. You could tell by the way he looked. I don't know if this ninja still thinks he's a pimp. They say he used to be one. But every time there is a woman on his show, and I don't even watch it that much. I watch people's recaps. I think the last time I saw him is when Krishan was dragged out. But you could tell from his disposition, he did not want to sit next to her. Then he proceeds to go in on her jacket, on her jacket about a makeup stain that nobody saw. So you took an opportunity where you could have helped this girl boost her brand to try to tear her down. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. But what makes me even angrier is the fact that all of these men <laughs> were sitting there and nobody stopped it. Nobody said anything. Whatever was on her jacket, he could have waited till the cameras were off and let her know. I get it. If you're going to come promote your brand, you want to make sure your brand is together. But you should have said that to her off camera. Not took a moment to try to degrade and disrespect her. What I wish Jayla would have done is just got up and walked out when she saw that the interview was about to go left. She should have just got up and walked away from it. I don't understand why women continue to go on this show knowing this is exactly what they're gonna get. Every time, every time without fail, this is what you get from him. But yet, for some reason, people still put themselves in this situation for him to treat you the same way he treats everyone else. I wish she would have just gotten up and walked away. They tried to change the conversation, and here he goes, taking it back to her jacket. He didn't want her there in the first place, so why did she even go? You guys take a look at this video, and after the video, drop in the comments and let me know. I'm sure this is actually one of my Letterman jackets. Ooh. They ain't bringing us none? Huh? Yo, you just making for chicks? No, they're actually for men and women. Do you have a website? Uh, oh, let's, let's pull this website up. Hold on, we get the makeup on. There you go, so we'll make sure you ain't got no makeup on it for you. So the back of my jacket says Hustler. Period. <laughs> Period. Now this is just something I picked up. But she always has a light. I love a tennis skirt. Yeah, yeah okay. I, I would say a little tennis girl. I, I wear a lot of skirts. Venus. Because I have great legs, so you know. Serena. Why are you even looking at all of that? Because I can see it even through the glasses. So yeah, it's, it's, I mean, people. I want to make sure she come in. Like, like, well, I got, a, well, some things, I got a lot of Letterman jackets, but this was the first one. This was the first one that I grabbed because it matched my shoes and today Valentine's Day. So they was on. It wasn't ready for the day. It was. It's, I'm always ready, no matter well, what it is. You might have been. It wasn't ready for today. And that's fine. He's drawing right. so much attention to the right. little coat. So <laughs> I like the coat because she brought up the coat like she's she's. So you just leave it. You leave it at that. She's literally the coat on display. So when I look at the coat, I'm like, okay, let me look at it for real. But this but, cute. But you want to know what? That's also how you know that I just wear it. I didn't just pop this motherfucker out of the bag. You know what I'm saying? Like it's my actual product. You can look, and you you know what? You're absolutely right. My jacket it probably do got a few stains on it, but you know what else you can see? This is some good ass leather. This ain't this ain't that cheap shit that you get at the alley. This ain't that none of that other shit. Touch this. Dry cleaner with. Add them up Give them a couple dollars and rush exactly. the process. Okay. That shit could've Period. came so, clean. That's so, all so I'm what I'm saying. You, right. So, if you really love your brand, that shit shouldn't come to That's what niggas do. That's the license. That's the license. I like Hold it. On. Just to be anyway, clean. so what you saying? Man, that's all. So, so, so what are you- putting this shit on display. What about what? So what do you got to say about- So I see you got your shit going on. Right. You got your clothing line going on. You got- 
Uh, what, what else you have? Uh, Slim, Slim Suit? Yeah. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not. But I'm, what I'm saying, uh, so what do you got to say about the people that, that had the comments about your Ugg boots and all this, and they didn't know what was going on? Oh, What's so talking? last week, yeah, with the whole Ugg boot situation, honestly, like, I don't really give a fuck about what y'all say about Ugg boots, because guess what? Them motherfuckers is like, how much it cost? Like $200? Like $200. They're like $180 or $200 or whatever. That's a $200 boot. I don't give a fuck if that motherfucker was falling apart with a hole in the bottom. Were they the chestnut ones? They're mine. Yeah, my chestnut ones. But the chestnuts, everybody know the chestnuts are in the traps. Like, you get a new one next year. Your boots, your Ugg boots are supposed to look worn. They're not yeah. supposed to be stiff. You know what I'm saying? Like you act like I came here with some motherfucking um, goddamn Asics on or some New Balance or something like. I had Uggs on, like suck my dick, and it was storming raining <laughs> outside. Like you can really suck, so that... suck my dick and my ass. So. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Wow. Oh my God! You didn't know that's what, See, that's what happens. Said. You gotta take this. You didn't hear what Cardi B said. make you feel like that. Bitch, make you, you feel like fuck this. Mm. So my bad. Like, Come in clean. You don't act like that. that. Notice how you ain't acting like that. It's a difference. Because now he y'all know what I'm look, saying. We still been with him. The conversation out now. They moved on. We not going back in the totally different. But why are you still talking about something that we not even? We didn't move on. We two conversations over. Oh baby. <laughs> you can't, you keep talking about that time. shit. Dang, the truth needs no support. I mean, and, and, I don't got it. It's not about being and, light skinned, brown skinned, a green skin. I never, and I never, I mean, I never said, on, and I never said you were lying. Say no, Dr. Seuss books. And I never looked, but I'm just saying when you put it on the 